Welcome to 2021. <laughs> Thumper is excited too. Oh my goodness. I'm a beverage queen. I love beverages. I just, I just love beverages. All right, everybody, we survived 2020 and you know what that means. No, what does that mean? It means now we get to take everything we learned from 2020 into 2021 about systemic racism, toxic capitalism, toxicity in the wellness and body positivity culture. Oh dear, I never plugged my microphone in. No, but new beginnings, new year, new me, this whole idea that the, the calendar changes and now suddenly we have this opportunity to become a different person, a better person, hopefully. Do I think that's wrong? No, no, I don't think that's wrong. In fact, I think it's a wonderful thing to want to better yourself and for a number of different reasons. I think it's an incredibly beautiful thing and an important part of human culture that we recognize the ways in which we are already wonderful and also use that to Help us find ways that we could improve ourselves and also improve the way that we interact with others and the way that we interact with the world around us because that's how we're going to make this world a better place. So what's the point of all of this? Well, for starters, for me, it starts off with the entire concept of New Year's resolutions. Once again, not necessarily a bad concept. However, I know for me in the past, I've set goals that were maybe a little too lofty or shot for the stars in a way that I just wasn't going to be able to accomplish. Like take for instance, weight loss. There have been times where I have set a legitimate goal for how many pounds I was going to lose per week, how much weight, how many inches, and a goal for weekly, monthly, and also for like quarters of the year. Was I wrong to do that? Again, I don't know if we can necessarily put this in the concept of right and wrong. However, however, I do believe that there are maybe some ways that positively serve our goals and things that maybe might negatively serve the goals that we have. So here's the crux of what I'm really getting at. I have set some goals for the beginning of this year. As I have said before, I have been trying to curb my drinking. I know that I have had problem drinking habits in the past and the pandemic has frankly not helped that very much at all. So I've cut alcohol out of my diet. I let it back in for little bits of time, decided it still wasn't good for me to be doing it. I was still feeling a certain type of way and not living my life the way that I wanted to. So I cut it back out of my diet. And now my partner and I are doing it together, which is actually incredibly helpful. And I want to keep going with that because it, it, at the time, at this time right now, I'm feeling better. I have more energy, but am I going to stay alcohol free for the rest of my life? I don't know right now. That's not necessarily the decision I'm trying to make. I am making goals and setting goals and setting boundaries for where I want to be right now. And where I want to be right now is in a healthier, more spiritually grounded place for the year ahead. Back in 2014, I went three months without alcohol. I focused on plant-based foods and on things that I was making with my own hands. And I frankly had the time to do that. And it really, really helped me. I felt lighter. I felt like I had more energy. I felt like I was really doing something positive for my body. And I noticed physical changes. I noticed mental changes, emotional changes. And then some things happened. And my therapist and I have been getting to the, to the heart of this recently that there have been some traumas that I have gone through in the past, you know, five-ish years. And also that's demand all the way back to my childhood that make it difficult for me to figure out how I want, what am I even trying to say here? What I'm really getting at is that I have control issues and the word control is really uh, a bothersome word for me because it's a word that I really struggle with. I'm trying to reframe that. I've been trying to use the word autonomy more often than control because I want to have autonomy over my food. I don't necessarily like eating things where I don't know exactly where the food is coming from or what the intention behind making the food was. I believe I said to my therapist this morning Morning, that I don't personally think that the Nabisco Corporation has my best interests in mind. That's not what they're designed to do. They're a company that's designed to make money. Is that a part of my point at all? I don't know if that's even a part of my point at all. All right, KJ, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. Here's the bottom line. I wanna set goals that are for myself. 
I want to set goals that make me feel good about where I'm heading, where I've been, and where I am right now. I feel good about who I am right now. I am feeling very glamorous today. I am feeling vampy. I am feeling glowy. I am feeling all of my beautiful fantasy today. And I'm loving that. That's making me so incredibly happy. And I can feel that beautiful fantasy while also be thinking about health goals I have for the year. And recently I've been seeing some contradictory posts, posts that say that wanting to lose weight at all is a part of the problem and that it plays into diet culture and then posts that talk about you can want to lose weight and still love yourself right now and enjoy the process and enjoy the journey, which is kind of the middle ground I'm trying to live in. Then there's the opposite side where do whatever you want, eat whatever you want, nothing has consequences, and the only way to be body positive is to not care at all about what you're eating and not care at all about how, how that impacts your health. I don't think that a lot of people think that way, but there are some body positivity blogs that are moving into that, which I don't know if I can get behind or if I fully agree with. I think what really trips me up along the way a lot of the time is this idea that there it's it's all black and white yes or no right wrong good bad and that can be a really really major struggle for me because it puts me into a moral quandary where i made a choice that went away from the goals that i had set so suddenly I've done wrong to myself, I've not been good, I've been bad, and that's just not a place that I need to put myself in. Girl, I was raised in a conservative Catholic household. I do not need that kind of stress in my life. I don't, I don't need it. And I shouldn't carry it with me into 2021 and I don't want to. So I'm, I'm trying to take balance with me into this year. I like to move. I love moving. I teach dance. I love getting up on my feet. I like doing light workouts. I like to go on small jogs. I love going on long walks. Those are things that bring me joy and they help me feel better. When I'm up and on my feet and moving around, I feel good. And when it's been too much and I sit down, it feels nice to sit down. But too much of both of those makes it feel awful. When I'm too sedentary, I don't feel good. I don't have energy. I can't get up. I can't do anything. But when I'm too focused on movement, I am exhausted. I'm achy. And for a couple of days, I'm incapacitated. And sometimes I screw up my ankles or my knees, which is also not helpful at all. So not really new year, new me, but more like new year, new way of thinking about me. Maybe? I don't know. So let me know in the comments if this makes sense to any of you, if uh, this, this, this whole concept of trying to find the balance between doing too much, doing too little, being super healthy and, and, and moving, but still loving your body where it is right now, or feeling like you love your body and maybe you're not making all of the quote unquote right choices, but you still feel good and you like your life and you love where you're at. Trying to find the balance between all of that is going to be, I think, my personal struggle, but also my salvation this year. So let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts about that, or if you just completely disagree with me, because that's how a nuanced conversation starts. As always, please remember to like us, comment, do all of those things. If you feel so inclined, maybe share us around. We are hoping to connect with more people this year uh, to kind of get this conversation up and running. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and Mama Shim Sham, I will see you whenever I see you. Bye!